Chris 6 News at noon continues. Well, good noon time, everybody. Uh, at least we've made it to August, and uh, August can't have more than 30-some days, so hopefully, you know, fall will be around here somewhere soon. You know, in addition to, you know, summers being warm in North America, we, we know that, but uh, as I've been talking over the last couple of weeks, uh, this heat wave or this hot weather is not only for us, it's all over the world. As a matter of fact, today in Spain and Portugal, they're having a horrible heat wave. In fact, they're going to break, likely, the all-time record high, which is 117. They're looking for a forecast high of 118 in Spain. And not only that, but it's all of uh, England and then it's all of North Africa as well. And two days ago in uh, South Korea, they also went up and they're in the Southern Hemisphere. So uh, it's hot all over and that's part of where we are in our world. Our world is getting warmer and warmer and it's not just us, it's the whole planet. 90 degrees already for us. We've got a little bit of a north wind, believe it or not. Humidities are still on the humid side, so we don't have a heat advisory for today. Nonetheless, it's going to be warm. We are looking for temperatures uh, topping out in the mid 90s today. But if we can go back to our maps, I can show you what we're happening, what is happening around the state. We are looking, of course, uh, the return of the Gulf moisture. When will that be? That will be probably at the end of the week. Now, here's what's happening. The big bubble of hot air was over the western states. We had that nice trough here, and that's what brought in the cool front. Well, now, as we go forward, this bubble of hot air, also known as the Bermuda High, is going to start building in, and that's going to start pushing back all that Gulf moisture into our region. So this heat wave is not going to be a problem. This high is now going to take over our weather, and actually it brings a, a long fetch, basically a, a long stream of air that goes over the waters and then rolls up into our area. That's going to increase our opportunity for getting a few little showers as we get into the weekend, but that's going to be the big change. In fact, uh, you may have noticed that the East Coast had a lot of rain and cool weather. Well, they're back to summertime as all this is going to start warming up all of the eastern side of the country. Now, of course, on the uh, Atlantic, we still continue very dry, but now we're heading into the last two weeks of August, our peak hurricane season. So far, nothing happening out there. If anything develops, it would be in the Caribbean close by. In fact, not across the Atlantic, but we'll certainly be watching it for you. And that's going to be the pattern change for us. So on the hot and steamy side for today and tomorrow, you'll start seeing clouds build up. And as we get into the uh, weekend, you'll start seeing a few little sea breeze showers pop during the afternoon hours. None of this will wash you out. And I cer certainly don't expect any severe weather. It'll also help get the temperatures down to about 90 degrees. Well, your seven day forecast is brought to you by NEC Co-op Energy. That's your forecast. We'll toss it back to Mike in the studio.